fairy lights light the way. And also bug corpses litter the floor. Well, that was that one was alive. Now it isn't. I feel like shooting a bug with a 12 gauge is kind of uh. It's overkill because a 20 gauge works just fine. I think a 410 is overkill for shooting a bug. Oh, you think shooting bullets at cockroaches might be a little OTT? Um. Oh, hello. This is pretty cool looking. The South American raven has found a, a partner for life. Notice how these two South American ravens have synchronized their movements as a way of showing solidarity that they are together forever, unlike the other crows. If you shoot one of them, the other one probably won't mind until you get close. And now we will attempt to approach to interview them. Sir? Sir, I have questions! I have questions for you! Come back! <laughs> hey, how's it going, buddy? Oh, he's having a rough day. D don't worry, hang in there! What do you want? To interview crows, apparently. I'm new in town, what can you tell me? Uh, don't go swinging your gun around trying to ring law and order and enforce justice or any of that bullshit. Town's full of badass criminals like me. Uh-huh. Vigilante shit is off limits. Otherwise, you'll get your shit pushed in, motherfucker. Oh, you're a badass, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, you got any kids? <laughs> That's a weird question to ask. Megatron. <laughs> Same here, my friend. At least none that I stuck around for, huh? <laughs> anyway, those assholes with the laser guns like to take kids as slaves. Only exception is that little newspaper brat. Assholes with laser guns. Now, he's only safe because he has a grenade in his pocket and he keeps threatening to pull the pin when anyone looks at him wrong. <laughs> okay. Why well, got a legionary strung up back there? NCR, Powder Gangers, Comps, it don't matter none. Everyone hates the fucking Legion. But some people like them. Oh, sons of bitches killed some friends of mine over in Nipton, so this here's some righteous fucking vengeance. I guess so. Can't fault you for that. So what can you tell me about New Rockwell? I don't fucking know. What do I look like? Some kind of badass historian? Yeah. That's There's a bar and a whorehouse. Some old mine shafts you can get high in. Uh, lunatics with laser guns over by the grill call themselves paladins, which is all kinds of fucking pretentious. Oh, we found where they roam! I know what a paladin <laughs> is, but why don't I ask you to make sure you know what a paladin is? Well, they were sometimes known as the Twelve Peers. Now, historically, they were the foremost members of Charlemagne's court. Although many of their famous exploits are largely fictitious, representing Christian martial superiority over the Saracen hordes. You said you weren't a badass historian. Anything else? <laughs> he gave you a literal definition. Yeah, he did. Goodbye. Yeah, sure. Oh, hey, you see Earl, you tell him he's fucking crazy. There ain't nothing in the world better than a pair of gigantic titties. We just got here. How are we supposed to know who Earl is? I don't know who Earl is, but I will agree the giant titties are pretty great. Hello, crazy newspaper boy. And a hello stare to you, too. Do you not speak? I guess that answers that. Kid, where are your parents? The strong, silent type of kid I see. The, no, you mean small, silent type. Whoa, hold on there. Um... You shouldn't smoke. You're too young for that. Okay, then. <laughs> all right, fair. Yeah, I don't really miss smoking at all because it's been years since I've had an actual cigarette. But occasionally, I really miss getting up in the morning and standing outside and drinking a cup of coffee and having a cigarette. You can still do that, but without the cigarette part. Yeah, but it's like the two complement each other very well. Mm. At least they did. I remember them doing it very well. Hey, look, gun store. Guns. This kind of looks like trash, though. Uh, he's got a BAR hanging from the ceiling, which is kind of cool. Hey, robot. It's That's... Move along, please. Did you explode a man? Greetings, customer. Welcome to error. Token not found. <laughs> how can I assist you? Uh, how'd you come to run a gun store? This establishment was the property of one Lars Victor. Records indicate that Lars Victor was the victim of violence, and is now deceased. Yeah? Control of this business was transferred to this unit once every other eligible nominee declined the opportunity. Why did everyone decline the opportunity? Probably because the last person got shot. 
It just to me, it seems like a gun store would be the, one of the last places you would rob while the owner was in there. <laughs> Maybe he was a terrible gun store owner. Maybe he just didn't like guns. <laughs> yeah. I always wanted to be a ballerina, <laughs> but my parents told me I should have something reasonable to fall back on, like small arms repair. Maybe the previous gun store owner just wasn't very likable. Welcome to Frankie's Guns and Ammo! <laughs> hey there. Oh, look how tiny your puppy is! Oh, you got a tiny dog. Oh, he's so cute. He looks kind of like a corgi with long legs. Hello. So, uh, what's your background? Nothing too interesting. Been in town pretty much forever. I don't look for trouble. I just want to stay in here and tinker. Now, oh, the man after my own heart. What can you tell me about New Rockwell other than it sucks? I remember how this place was. Before these criminals came. It was a small, quiet place. NCR folks lived here. Most of them worked the mines, but those didn't last forever. The mines started drying up, and folks started leaving. The place was mostly a ghost town. Things changed all at once, though. One night, just like that. The old sheriff, Mr. Casey. His home just burst into flames. Probably still back. Strange men. Never seen them before. Were hanging around outside. Probably Presbyterians. The men were all laughing. Sounded like they took turns beating and torturing the sheriff and his family. The strangers who did the killing, they vanished one morning. But then other outlaws came. Used Rockwell as a sanctuary. Me and Bert, Mr. Martinez, and Mr. Victor were the only citizens who didn't run when the outlaws came. Mr. Farrar came a few weeks later. He had the papers. He was sheriff now. But... The outlaws are still around. Mr. Farrar isn't doing anything. Now those energy gun men are here. This is the second time they've been mentioned. They murdered Mr. Victor four days ago. Things just got worse and worse. Okay, this place is a bust. Really shitty diner. What you want? Oh my god! <laughs> Can I see what's on the menu? No refund! Um... <laughs> Garbage. Not, not really interested in any of that. Why is a pencil one of the things you're offering as food? Yeah, actually, that's a good question. He likes to chew on the erasers. You don't smell sanitary. Is it safe to eat here? Bitch, I cook my shit. It's clean as fuck. <laughs> I'll pass your fucking skull open. I think nothing happened, motherfucker. All right, settle the fuck down. I'm gonna go. You'll come back. No, I won't. That miserable son of a... What? Oh, you're the new asshole. Yeah. Hi, new asshole. Hello, classic asshole. With the same great taste as the original asshole. <laughs> Still tastes like ass. So what do you do here? I drink and I fuck. In that order, otherwise the whole thing's a fucking mess. <laughs> I expected I'd be bunkering down here, ready for pussy-ass bounty hunters to come for me, but it seems like the sheriff wasn't lying. So far, so good. Oh, there's a bounty on your head, you say? Why would there be a bounty on you? I was fucking this chick in Novak, right? You know, good times, shit is nice. When all of a sudden, in bursts a retard brother. <laughs> he told me to get off her, so I told him to go fuck himself. And then he breaks a bottle and jams it into my fucking eye. Ah, that explains the eye patch. I guess that was his one move, because I went right in and tore his throat open with my fucking teeth. Then I finished fucking his sister. <laughs> yeah? Anyway, I guess that makes me a murderer. whoop de fucking do Yeah, it does. It sounds like her brother was very controlling. He should have just let her live her life. I don't think the sex with that young woman was, uh, consensual. That's even a worser crime than murder. Yeah. See this rundown little shack? There's supposed to be three whores in there ready and waiting. But the dumbass running the place scared off the two girls I actually like, and now he's chasing after them like some kind of retard bloodhound. First, he insisted his whores call him Daddy Lee because that's how pimps do. <laughs> Weird, but whatever. Guy's a pervert, but that's not news. Apparently, he laid out some new rule that all his whores have to call themselves sexy whittle babies at all times <laughs> or be fired. Okay. So the two girls who weren't jet addled lunatics told him to go fuck himself and they quit. And instead of hiring new talent, he went after them. So, he's, he's gone. So, we got a whorehouse with just one whore. Fucking idiot. If he comes back, I'm shooting his ass myself. What if he brings the women? You want me to bring Lee back here? 
Fuck no, I don't. That asshole shows up again. I'm fucking killing him myself. You just said that. <laughs> All right. All right, goodbye. Hey, you see Harlan? You're telling me he's an uncultured idiot. Small titties are clearly superior, and he has no idea what he's talking about. Titties are great, no matter the size. Right, let's go in the whorehouse, just because I'm not buying anything, but I just want to see if she talks in baby voice. <laughs> hey, hey. Dimey, Jed. I'm getting the shakes here. You got any? I'll do anything you want, yeah? For Jet? No. Or, or just a hundred caps and I get my fix. Whatever. No, no, no. You're supposed to say, You got it, you will, Jet. Come back soon, okay? Please? Yeah, if I give her the Jet, then she's just going to start humping my leg, and I don't want that. Because then I have to wait for her to finish. And <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Ugh. All right. The bar! Oh, Over here! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare off your crow? What the f- That takes care of that. <laughs> okay, you just murdered a man. The hell you want? Uh, why'd you kill that old man? Didn't like the fucking look he was giving me. Oh, okay. Another new face in the saloon. I like to think it's- Word of mouth about the quality of this establishment that brings in so many customers. I'm sure you would like to think that. As opposed to the alternative, that it's the lawlessness of the town that attracts people. No, I just came in. Now, what can I get you? Got any interesting rumors? I get customers in here. They say, all right, Martinez, hook us up with the strongest drink you have on tap. I always tell them they don't want my strongest. It's just too much for them, but they demand I serve them. So what can I do? So turpentine in a bottle it is. And every time, they slam it down and start yelling at me about serving them something too powerful. I gave them a warning. How is it my fault? Some people you just can't please. We legitimately get people that come in to use the firing range that go, I want to shoot the biggest gun you have. Cool, what's your firearms experience? Well, I've never shot a gun before. All right, here, take this 22 caliber pistol. This is definitely the biggest gun I have. Because <laughs> I know if I give you this 44, you're going to hit yourself in the face with it. <laughs> Sounds like we're going to the gun store. It's tons of fun. Yeah. My bar has only one firm rule. If you talk politics in here, everyone has permission to shoot you. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Not a terrible rule. What's going on with the raiders around here? Don't know that they're raiders, technically. Yeah, they are. There's actually only one real gang in town. Those ones with the energy guns. That's the... Don't know a whole lot about them. Their boss forbids them from coming in here. We're gonna have to figure out which group this most is. Most of the guys here run solo. Sure, most of them got petty bounties on their heads, but it's not really because of gang shit. Usually. Usually. And they generally don't go beyond that get to be an actual problem, that tends to be when Sheriff Farrar suddenly notices them. Then someone with a badge will usually put them in the dirt via <clears throat> acute lead poisoning, and the NCR gets word that they can suspend the bounty. Oh, so they just shoot them. Ah! Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. No, it's fine, it's fine. Ah, you must be the fabled Courier 6. I'd heard you were in town for some reason or another. Marcus Ledoux at your service. Also, I'm here. What do you do here? Right this moment, drinking while I wait for the sheriff to work up the nerve to lose another round of cards to me. More generally, I arrived here as the conclusion to a pointless chase. Uh -huh. I had reason to believe my target was here. I was misled. Ooh, you a bounty hunter? You're a bounty hunter, aren't you? Recent state of affairs, I assure you. Though I'm loath to admit it, I confess I'm not especially good at it. Oh, want some hmm. tips from us? I've never met a man who could best me with a pistol, but I simply have no interest in the hunt. What if the other guy has a rifle? I expect <laughs> I'll be hanging it up soon. I believe I'll head west. Perhaps seek work as a bodyguard for someone rich and important. If fortune smiles on me, and she does, my future employer will even have a pretty wife. 
Frida Ogle? Or daughter. You. Or both. Well, everybody in this town is terrible. What's your story? Before I decided to try my hand at law bringing, I was something of a criminal sort myself. You don't say! Nothing too unscrupulous, mind you. Caravan robberies, bank robberies, maybe the occasional spot of hostage taking. Nursery robberies. Joining up with a gang seems like a fine idea when you're young and perpetually drunk. It was a brotherhood and other such bullshit. I consider it my highest honor that I turned my back on that life before the gang degenerated into murderous slavers and other such assorted scum. Gotta draw the line somewhere. What do you think of New Rockwell? While it's hardly the first lawless shithole I've found myself in, it still fails to impress all the same. Far too many bearded reprobates, not nearly enough classy women. I'll consider it a deep personal failing if I ever find myself returning here. The one silver lining to these sorts of places is that no one particularly cares if I shoot down anyone who accuses me of cheating at cards. I kinda like this guy. He's probably the least detestable person here. Yeah, other than the fact that he's thinking about committing adultery with, uh, with his future employer's wife. That's a hypothetical, and also, it's not nearly the worst thing we've seen. Yeah, that's entirely true. Who's your target? Some opportunistic looter with more greed than sense. The scant details I was afforded indicated he was a regular face in these parts. Instead, I find his idiot cousin, who informed me that my prey was actually hiding out way the fuck to the east, round about the searchlight area. Maybe he lied to you. Trekking all that way for some impersonal bounty business sounds just about as appealing as a swift kick to the crotch. I'll pass on both counts. That's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Hey, you want me to do it? You know what? That sounds like a fine idea. Here's the handbill, if such things interest you. Supposedly, he's hiding out in one of the old mine shafts around Searchlight, so he may want to stock up on radiation supplies. Yeah, okay. If you would be kind enough to return to me once it's settled, I'd be more than happy to pay you the lion's share of my commission. The target's name is Joaquim Levy. Is that how you pronounce that? I, yes. Mid-30s or so. Last I heard, he had a mustache and dirty blonde hair. Ooh. Levi is a scumbag war profiteer. He must have some contact in the NCR military because he's always the first one to hear about field casualties. He swoops in, collects their weapons and gear, then sells them off to the highest bidder. The gun owners are sick of this prick getting any of their profits, and survivors are none too pleased with some jackass yanking their rifles away while they're bleeding in the dirt. Apparently, Levi makes semi-frequent stops at this little mining town called New Rockwell. Might catch him there. The payout is an even thousand caps, plus you get to keep anything he has in his pockets. Woo! Maybe he's going to be friendly. Maybe he'll say hello. Maybe he'll have his own take on the events. For as many people as I've murdered, I have never shot... Well, that's not true. Never mind. Yeah. I was about to say, I've never shot people without them shooting at me first. But then I remembered uh, murdering a woman to get her hat. You've killed a lot of people. It's hard to remember sometimes, you know? Aha! Okay, okay, I see how it's gonna be. Had enough! Damn it, like I was that? hoping he'd talk to us first! I'm gonna fuck you up. Hey, Joaquim! Shut up! It would have been a fun throwback reference. Oh, God! But he didn't say anything, damn it! Hey, look, I got a GSH-18. Joaquim had a special handgun? Yeah, he had a, like, a weird Russian handgun. That's really weird looking. Yeah, that's the GSH-18. It, it's kind of funny that the ejection port is once again on the top of it. So hot lead shoots out the top. Yeah, but if you look at the front of the barrel, you can see how it's got like those weird little lines on it. Mm hmm ridges. Yeah, the barrel's like thinned. I can't remember if it's a rotating lug barrel or not, which would be just really strange in and of itself. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about this because I've never... I've only, like, casually researched it. I haven't done a lot of research. Ah, this is not one of the ones you're privy to. No, not really. And, like, I only casually researched it because I, I, I'm i never going to be able to own one. So, I mean, as far as I know, they work decently well. They really only issue them to, like, certain troops in Russia. There's not a whole lot of people that get them. The reason for the ridges on the top are, one, so it gives you extra something extra to grip on when you have to pull the slide backwards. Mm -hmm. The other reason is by putting ridges on the top, when you have sun beating down on the gun, it reduces 
Thank you, Mike. <laughs> it reduces the glare that you get from the iron sights. Oh, uh-huh, that makes sense. So you don't get as much sunlight reflecting off the top of your slide and, like, washing out your iron sights, making S- them harder to see. Seems like there would be benefits, but at the same time, those creatures would probably make it a bit more of a pain to clean. Eh, not really. You just kind of scrub it with a toothbrush or whatever. Well, if it's so convenient and useful, why don't all guns have those ridges? Uh, because it increases manufacturing costs. You Ah. have to spend time to machine every one of those notches out. Mm. Yeah, I wish I could tell you more about this, because I honestly don't really know a whole lot about it. I I, thought your mind was a endless encyclopedia, a vacuum of knowledge. I know that it's an 9 mil pistol. I know it's from Russia. I know that they're not exactly standard issue, but they are issued to the Russian military. Can you believe this guy, Elias, that doesn't know everything about every gun ever I made? The, I think the top of it is actually like a little loaded chamber indicator and like pops up a little bit, which it's not doing on this one because they can't really model complex guns like that. Well, let's go back and tell, uh, what's his name that we completed his little mission for him. Hello again. We killed the guy. Superb. You're a much better fit for this business than I am. Since you did the majority of the work, the majority of the commission is rightly yours. Here you are. 80% if my math checks out. Yay! It was a pleasure working with you, friend. Here's eight caps. What? That's 80%? Yeah! I told you it was a bad bounty hunter! <laughs> Oh. Terrible at negotiating. I just realized. So he's got, he's got a Brahmin head, <laughs> a mole rat, and a robot. <laughs> the deadliest game of them all. The deadliest game of all. I first killed a man when I was 16 years old. He challenged me to a duel after catching me uh, in flagrante delecto with his sister <laughs> and wife. <laughs> and wife. 